Howdy, Chris. How are you? We're well, here tonight well, to I... stump the chumps. Rob, that sounds like something that somebody would buy. Doesn't I'm going to stump you, and you're going to stump me. That Rob, sounds really bad. Rob, <laughs> Rob, Rob, let's not pretend that. Oh, what was that? Something you went. Stump. Did you hear it? You okay you, over there? Yeah, do you know what that was? What's that? A tripod from 1922. Uh oh. A teak tripod just fell for no reason. Rob, do you know why? Because it doesn't like the thought of you stumping me. Well, who's going to go first? What we're going to do? What the what the what the, <laughs> the the idea behind this is is Chris and I are going to describe. Copyright. We're going to copyright this idea first, um, yes. and then we're going to we're going to describe a photo. A photo to the other person. And the other person needs to guess it. And if they can't guess it with the description, the simple description, then we will lead into questions. Oh, really? Hopefully we don't get to 21 questions, but... Rob, I haven't thought any of this through. I thought it was just 21 questions. But can I say this to you? I went with, that? Uh, on our honeymoon. We went to Florence, okay? Because we're fancy. Me and you? Okay? Yes, I remember. Remember the bike Florence, trip? I love Florence. Uh, oh, Forense. Forense. Well, Lee and I went there, okay, and we had, we, well, we had a really, really nice time. But of course, what do you do in Florence other than go to the photographic museum? Okay. So big drag, bring Lee in. She was really up for it. But what do they have there? They have a similar What's thing. They have, they have photographs, okay, right, mm -hmm. that, that you look at. But then they have a touch for blind people. They have a touching section. Oh, yeah? Well, it's the photograph in raised three-dimensional. Cool. You... Yeah. So this game is kind, cool. is kind of like that, but for the dopey, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of what we're doing is, for, is kind of hands-on for the dopey, in a sense, I thought today. The chunks. Well, we'll see how this goes. Well, I have no idea what's happening. I know this is a very great idea. Um, and it, I think we make a board game out of it, as Leah suggested. We probably would make a lot Maybe. of money. Think about it. For photographers, yeah. No, but not even for photographers. So we'll get this published. We'll get this published. But and think of, once it's published, it'll be copywritten. So. But think on it. Think of people. Right here, I'm holding a card. It's got Donald Trump on it, okay? And all I say is, it's a turd with yellow bits of hair it's trump you're close the room rules about laughing i'm a hero they're a hero do you know what i'm saying tony blair okay i'm holding a card and we just say war crimes against humanity oh my okay? goodness okay but, we're but not we're... getting political dude okay can i, can I not say that Rob? no <laughs> have i went too far <laughs> maybe we should allegedly allegedly war crimes yeah uh, hillary clinton <laughs> right, let's go. <sighs> okay. Okay. I've upset so you I'm going to give you a description of a photograph that I've chosen. Good, because I have no idea how to describe. If I describe my photograph, you're getting it. My photograph's so simple. And I'm going to tell you yeah. that the photographer is not a tier. It's not a tier. He is a, he, he is a he. He's a male. The photographer. That's one of my. But that's one of the, that should be one of the twenty-one questions. You told me too yeah, much already. Right. Yeah, I have. I have. Okay, you got to guess this now. Okay, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's Martin. It's Martin Parr. Is it Martin? <laughs> it's a it's a, a naked boy in front of a digger. Everything is Martin Parr. Is it naked guy in front of a digger? Is it a seagull playing right. the chip? There is you it go? Is it the one with big red, big red face, redder than me, yeah, wearing there sunglasses? At the beach? At the beach? Yeah, yeah. Oversaturated colors? So, Rob, I'm not even joking you, because I am wee tiny, wee tiny, but psychic with this stuff. Uh oh, God. Oh, we get it. Okay. Okay. So, this is a black and white photograph. Okay. This should be all the part of the 21 things, but anyway, we're going to redo well, this. Well, I have some... to describe the photograph okay. to you. Okay, describe it. Black okay. and white yeah. photograph yeah, 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 yeah. Of, a, of a man holding a gun. Oh, I know what it is. It's the assassination, or it's the assassination in, uh, oh no, it's it's not actually. It's Larry Clark's, um, uh, it's, 
<laughs> I'm fucking brilliant. It's Laurie Clark. Uh, um, oh, Christ almighty. It's not Are a... you fucking kidding me? I'm being serious. It's Tulsa. You bastard. Am I right? It's also my favorite photo book. Oh my god! No, Rob, I I might not be yeah. I might not be I might not be to say you What's book. the time on that? <laughs> oh my god, I, you've won, you've won. I'm not going to get. I'm, Am I that was well? it. That was totally it. That was well, totally it. Well, it was even you that, it was even that either, dick of, of the assassination of the the poor man in, in Vietnam. Fudge! How, how many gun photographs are there in the world? I really, I really, I really revised this. I went into guns. I went into I went into tears. I went into drink. <laughs> Rob, let me. Let, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something similar. You're gonna get it as well. It's as easy, right? Mine's a color photograph. Okay. Color. Okay. Color. Okay. Right. But probably one of the. It's. I'll give you a massive clue. It's the most important color photograph. It's not the most important color photograph. It's one <laughs> of the most important color photographs. Okay. It's taken 1969. Okay. By an American photographer, it um, it depicts it depicts an object really, really closely. Okay, and through that object, okay, through the middle of that object, okay, through the middle of that object. Now you like this because you 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 <laughs> because you love this sort of stuff. Okay, and I'm going to read it to you. It's a paradoxical power of a snapshot. I mean, shit all doesn't dead to anybody. When I read that, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was quite. But through the wheels, through the wheels of this photograph, we can see a grown-up sedan parked in a carport across the street. We're going into questions, Rob. We're going into questions. We're going into questions. Okay. Right. Listen. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Listen. Listen to this here. It's listen, sa- listen. It's. It sounds like a Gary Winogrand. Mm, possibly right, but let's let's use warmer or colder because I like this okay you're cold right now Damn you're it. warm in a sense that you're in the right kind of country probably actually in the right type of era <laughs> you already told me it was American in it's the okay, 60s okay okay sorry um, shit. okay I'll give you a clue okay it's color it's um, it's the 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 photograph is taken in Crotochrome. Okay. That doesn't help, does it? In fairness, because it's really not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's not okay. Good okay, so Crotochrome, it's okay. It's slightly from, warm. It's, it's taken from an extraordinarily low angle. Okay. We're looking up at an object, at a child's object, Rob. A child's object. Oh, this Whee! is. Um, this is. Uh, is it Cunningham oh, and the tricycle? Eggleston and the tricycle. Eggleston. A- I'll give Eggleston you Cunningham. And the tricycle. Sorry. I'll give you Cunningham. Sorry. I'll give you Cunningham, but you know why I'm going to give you Cunningham? Eggleston. You know why I'm going to give you Cunningham? Because you've lent me cameras more often than not. <laughs> you've been so kind, drop. And I'm returning that kindness now. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. I was in, think, in, that, in, yeah, in, it was the low angle. It was honestly, it was the low angle. In, in as title, soon as you said low angle. Entitled, entitled Memphis, nineteen sixty nine. Now, in fairness, night I have because you know I mean, what I was picturing, Chris. What? I was picturing Nangle. a driveway, yes. looking through a tire yes. of one vehicle across the road to the other side of the street mm-hmm. at another car. But the way you had phrased vehicle, I know. And, so. Good. so Good on you, man. You got you had me. You definitely you had right. me. Rob, I'm going to say this to you. This is brilliant, okay? Because this is a game that the whole family can play, okay? Now, in terms, of most of the family want to speak to you after, but it's a game you can definitely <laughs> play, okay? If you go to the uh, other the mama website, okay, this is for me. This is a big, a big, a beautiful discovery. You can go on. Uh, you can plan your visit. What's on at Art and Artist and then Store? But if you go in. Of course, they have all the all the fine photographs. Okay, um, but even when you do, uh, you get the the kind of the you know the paradoxical do da, you know they are forever opaque. All this language, okay, um, but then you get a, additional text underneath, and it says the tricycle may be a little worse for wear, 
but it is pictured here as the most important thing in the world. Okay, and I should have said that, Prentice. Yeah. I should have given you a better. I should have given you a better clue. Oh no, no, like, that was good. That was great. I feel, it was I feel great. Like I had, but, but then it goes on to say that color only became. This is where it's nice. Okay, color became available to the origin photographer in the nineteen fifties and sixties. But before then, I wish it was to people in Belfast exposed. Um, then, uh, you know, black and white was kind of the medium. So, you know, for me, Eggleston's, you know, first uh, color exhibition was kind of, you know, an explosion in away from the black and white stuff yeah. into. So Eggleston, for me, that photograph for me always makes me think about, you know, he would have been grown up with black and white and all the, you know, learning all the stuff about Western and all that, all all those big photographers and yep. you know all all the snapshot stuff all the 50s 60s you know photographs of home photographs of birthday parties and then you had to relearn it you know what i mean so that photograph for me is kind of important because it's that relearning uh, but like laurie clark's you know what i mean you know black and white photographs of people fucking jacking up dead babies you know uh, sammy pen sammy hard penises you know but you know what i'm saying yeah, no, no. I mean, Larry Clark is definitely an acquired taste. Oh, <laughs> like for sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think about like that whole Tulsa series. Yeah. It's dark. How raw it is. Like yeah. just totally yeah. like that raw open wound. Like, like you're looking in at, at the underbelly of America you know, and and oh, it just but but middle class America. This is this is the thing. This is the education middle class. Now, I don't know if I was well, middle no, class. Well, well, white, white collar. Let's say white collar. Let's say I'm middle class. Let's say white collar. So these guys, that, blue collar, blue, blue collar, blue collar. Did I say white collar? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, white. No, no, no more. Color. No. Very, very blue collar. Do you know? Do you know why, Rob? Flannel, flannel collar. This is this is where the color comes from. I'm holding up a bottle. You'll see it in a second. Um. No, I think I think I think what happens is that you know you're into that. You're in, like Laurie. Like, who would I rather? Let me tell you, the, the worst exhibition I've ever seen in my life is Eggleston in Paris. Okay, and the car. Really? Oh man, I flew over specially with Leah, and we went to the the Cartier Duda to see it. Um, I couldn't wait to see it because I mean, you know, the stuff is seminalist. You know that. You know that the. the you know, I always say to people, when do you think the first colour exhibition was? Okay. You know, and people are always, you know, they're all over the place with it. And then you go through the whole, the history of how that colour thing burst in and the, the importance of black and white and how it was departure and it was kind of you know, all that stuff. And I went to see, it was, a, I can't remember the name of it even, I, I blanked it from my memory. You know what I mean? It was kind of crazy. But it was photograph and drawing. You'd done drawings. No, that's okay. You know, all well and good to the guy. You know, he's, he's world famous and everything else. It just wasn't for me. I walked away. Yeah. And I walked away from the the gallery in Paris feeling um, on him. In fact, yeah, you know, well, I, I went and get drunk. We went and get drunk. And see what happened, Rob? Can I tell? Can I tell you what happened? <laughs> which is really, really interesting. On the so way, this, you you flew. Let's get this straight. I flew. You flew your wife. Yeah, to Paris. To Paris to see a beautiful an city. To see an go see a photographic exhibition. Yeah. And I, and of, the, of well, William Eggleston. Yeah. And he had photographs and drawings. And drawings. And I sold a camera to fly there. I sold a camera to wow. fly there. Yeah. So listen to this here. But the, the interesting part of that isn't anything about that. The interesting part is that Leah has such a bad, like her mum, God, God bless Al, um, has such a bad sense of direction, right? They couldn't tell. If they walked into the garden, they would find it difficult in the back of the back door. We're lost. Okay, we're there. I'm also doing a wee job. Whenever I'm there, I'm photographing. I'm doing stuff at the culture day or land day or whatever it was. I'm documenting some for somebody. But on the way back, we went to this really famous Vietnamese restaurant in Belleville. It's really boring. And it wasn't even a great restaurant. It was an okay restaurant with dogs and stuff. It was interesting. You'd like it because it the dogs were allowed in. But what happened was on the way back, I couldn't get the money out of my cash machine. Right, So we were kind of screwed. And there was loads of gangs about in this kind of this kind of downtrodden bit of Paris. Then we're in a taxi and we're driving back to the hotel. And Leah, who mm-hmm. doesn't doesn't know where she is in her own home, right? I'm getting really, I'm getting really scared. I'm like, I'm getting ready to like take the headrest off and hit people. And Leah's like, Chris, I think we're coming up to the Moulin Rouge. 
and oh my god, three minutes later, or, or apartment was at the Moulin Rouge. Three minutes later, the Moulin Rouge is inside. To this day, wow. I, have, I have no wow. idea. God, wow. God, God, God. <laughs> She Some came down. Thing. God came down and she touched Leo on the head and said, You will guide Chris home tonight. Oh my God. You know what? Actually, you know what Leo said? Leo just shouted at Laurie. She shouted at Laurie Clark at that moment. <laughs> this is, this, everything is making sense. <laughs> Tulsa! No, you can't say a guy holding a gun. You can't say a guy holding a gun. If you had a said, if you had said a guy lying in bed. It could have been the. Vietnamese no, I know, colonel. I know, that, I know there's a you few. Know, but I've, I've swatted like, for this, Rob. I've swatted. I have you, swatted. Dude, you won that. You 100%. You won that. That's yours. You, you got know, it. Do you know what I'm going to say? You know why? Do you know why? Tom Seymour. I've got Tom Seymour. Mary's listening to you. He's Googling it crazy. Whenever he said man with gun, he was Googling. He actually didn't have to Google. He just said, he just said to me, Chris, it's Laurie Clark. Get in there, bud. <laughs> Kick, kick his butt. Well, we can't, we can't finish. How long have we been doing that for? How long have we been on this for? 23 minutes? Uh, yeah, you got the time there, right? Um, Nin- 19 minutes. No, because I don't want to get time yet. I'll tell you why. I have to, I have to be careful. Do you have another one? No, do you want another one? I'll give you one. I'll oh, give no. you one. Oh, I'll no. give you a gimme. I'm... Here's a gimme. Okay. okay. I'll get it again, Rob. I'll get it again because I'm good at this sort of shit. Yeah, yeah. And I'll give you another one. All right. All right. All right. Black and white. Yeah. Um, man walking down a road. <laughs> That's good. I like your. You know, I'm. You know, I'm. I'm not going to give being, you any more than that being, because you got obscure. the last one so quickly. Yeah, okay. Ma- black and white man walking down. The Sorry. Road. Sorry. Let me correct that. Man walking down the side of a road. God, Rob, you know what? A city road. Ah, you've said too much now. Um, and you'll see I haven't been typing stuff in. You can hear me typing stuff in. Oh, you better not be using Google, dude. No, I'm not. I'm sort of Christ I'm not. I am. I'm typing now. What are you I'm typing not... for? Don't be typing. I don't want no. you to be using Google. No, That's cheating. I'm, no, I'm not. You'll see what I'm looking I'm, I'm going to give you one after. I'm going to give you one after this. I'm going to give you one after this. I will say one more thing. It's raining. Oh. Okay. Well, that could be Walker Evans. Perhaps. That was it, all that Dust Bowl stuff, though. Yeah, but give me, is, give, give me, give me a, give me a, a roughly around the same. What type of era was it? Was it fifties? Is it depression? Is it mm. is it American even? It American. Is American. That is American. Yeah. Okay. Black and white. Black mom, and white. Mom walking down the city road. Left side or is he walking away or towards us? Left Smoking. side or right side? Smoking. Cigarette in his mouth. How how does he fill the frame, Rob? Is he is he uh, is he quarter quarter of the frame? To the left or to the right? To the left. Center left. Black and white. Black and white. I swore you'd have went for a Gregory Cruise. And I actually said, Lee, I'm going to get Greg. <laughs> it's going to be Gregory yeah, Cruise. But and... the thing with Gregory Cruise is you, you, you like, there's I so know. many of them. I know. He's prolific know. with all that stuff. I thought you went Cruise or. Okay, right. So, man, I don't, Rob, I don't know who it is. Are you giving up? I'm giving You're up. You're not giving up. I'm giving up. Okay. It's James Dean. No, I... He's walking through Times Square, and it was photographed by Dennis Stock, 1955. James Dean in his trench coat, the black trench coat with the cigarette photograph. hanging out. I didn't think you'd have went for something so, so populist, which is great that you did. My turn, Rob. Are you ready? Okay. You're you're okay. you're gonna get me now. <laughs> like, well, I'm not gonna get you. I'm not gonna get you. <laughs> New York, okay. Was well, black and white or color? Black and white. Okay. Black and white. Okay. It is 1916. Oh Jesus! No, it's gotta this. be like relatively no, iconic no, photograph. This this is iconic photograph. Okay, 1916, woman, full frame. 
portrait, okay, with um, with uh, no, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how much it's worth, okay, to give you an, give give you an idea of its importance. It's worth USD seventy to a hundred thousand, okay. Price realized seventy five. What is the print? Yep. Okay. Are these it's original a, prints from the negative? Yeah, yeah. Gelatin silver contact print, flush mounted on photograph um, of nineteen sixteen. Yeah, it was taken nineteen sixteen. One print, nine one six. One nine one six. Yeah, yeah. Provenance from the artist directly to Michael Hoffman, former director of Aperture, acquired from the above by the present owner in nineteen eighty seven. Christ, we're into the art world now, Rob. Isn't that crazy? I went too far. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you a clue. I'm going to Can give I you ask clues. you a question? Yeah. Is it a street photograph no, or is no. it an art photograph? It's a street photograph. Well, it's a street. It's if you think of yeah, it's a street photograph. But what I will say, it's a lady, okay, wearing a sign around her neck. Oh, fudge. I don't expect I you to give that. me. I don't I know. expect. I, I know the photograph. No, I have no it. idea the photographer. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Well, you know, until about ten years ago, is it? A, is it a suffragette? No. She... No. I'm so cutting, aren't I? Seventy seventy-five. How much is that in UK? Sixty-two something. I like give. That? I give. You got me. You got me. No, I haven't got Go you ahead. Off. You know the photograph. It's Paul Strand, who, listen to this here, Paul Strand, 1890 to 1976. I never, wow. ever, 86 ever. years old? I never tired of looking at that. I, never, I just yeah. looked at myself. And what's the photograph, sorry? Blind woman, New York. It's a lady with a... <gasps> I shouldn't oh, say... Oh, yes, 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 with the... Sort of I, glassy eyes. I shouldn't say I shouldn't say goofy eye, but I'm saying goofy eye. She wouldn't care. Glassy she's eyes. She's yeah. not here anymore. Her relatives can see if they want. Um, and it is uh, blind woman, New York, 1916. And That's right. Silver gelatine print, number three, number three, and um, annotated master by Hazel Strand in pencil, flush mounted, um, and it's thirteen by nine and three quarter inches. Yeah. That's a lot of dosh per inch, am I right? And what did you say, 70 grand? No, yes, it got 75,000, it was realized at 75,000. Wow. That's on the, <laughs> that's on Christie's, that's on Christie's. Do you know why I did that, Rob? I, I went in, I went the further mile. You I just I, had to like dig that nail a little deeper? No, 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 it's on you the You got nail. Larry Clark no, so fast. No, 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 it's just about oh, Larry Clark's. You will get, listen. After a week three uh, of this, you'll get very quickly, you'll get a bit more obscure. All right, this is working. I like this. This <laughs> definitely Rob, works. Rob, I like it. And you know why? Do you know why? Because there's people out there who will know f about f who will be excited about the whole thing. I mean, that's a nice sense. And we will, we will put links to these links. photographs down in the description. Uh, yeah. I've shown my photographs on the phone in front of the camera. Have I don't you? know if you have. No, I haven't. I haven't done anything. So, Rob, I was or so I'll put a little inset of the photograph so you can see what we were talking about. But I was so this excited. was great, Chris. No, Rob, thank oh, you oh, so much. Is it time? Is time up? Uh, we're pretty close. We're twenty twenty six and change. Twenty seven. <sighs> so, can I? Can I do it? Can I? Do, can I have never one and be like, I want a cup. I want a. I want a, a balloon race cup. I don't know what your camera's at, but. My camera, well, you know what my light is always there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and mask. I don't know what your timing's at. Oh, I have no idea. What? It could, hey, do you know I haven't checked? Yeah, you might be close. I think so. Let's see. Got it still going? What's the time? I don't know. Rob, I have never won anything. I'm so excited. What'd you win? The, the oh, you win tonight, yes. Rob, Larry Clark. Rob, Rob, <laughs> you won Larry never, Clark in one sentence. But I have never Jesus. won anything. I won a silver cup for a balloon race. <laughs> I like up in Hollywood and somebody found it in Scotland. 
That's the mm. biggest thing. That's the biggest thing anyone family has ever won. This is a really big moment for me. I want to cherish it. There Don't you go, try. dude. There you go. God, I want to hold something. I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold this up. I'm going to shake it. Go find Leah. I'm going to... No, she won't Hold care. Her. She won't. No, Leah, Leah listens always. And she always says, uh, you know, can I say something every two seconds? Yeah, do you go remember, ahead. Do you remember last time Leah put tan on my head? She do you remember? She put tan on my oh, head. Oh, yes, 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 She's yes. put tan on my leg. Because <laughs> I, I thought the head looked so well. <laughs> I went, to, Rob, I went too far. Too Just, far up the leg? Yeah, what? what? I care about tan. I have a big red face. It made my face look slightly less red. I was excited. And then I said to her this morning, do you want to do my legs? And she was like, yeah, and I put my foot up the radar. And she went, she says, you have to be careful with the knees because the knees are difficult. The knees were terrible. The knees are, I look like Britain's And you went ears. jogging? <laughs> oh, I, don't even talk, I don't even care about the jogging. I'm just, I run so fast. People can't see me. Chris, well, this has been great. Thank you so much. It has legs. We'll do it again next leg. week. Oh, please. All right. Take it easy, and we'll talk to you later. God, See you next week. God bless Larry. I love Larry already. Stop the chance. Am I turning off now, Rob? Yeah. Rob, I haven't turned off because I want to, I want you to keep this bit in. I was in. Oh, I maybe not. Maybe not. No, it still is, Rob. I wasn't. Seconds. I was incredible. I was incredible. I was incredible. I was incredible. It's still going, Rob. It's still going. Did you just say it was incredible? Fuck you. It was incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> I. Oh. So I'm going to do the pose. Do you know what, Rob? I'm not even joking. You. I have a fucking gun beside my bed, right? That I keep for other reasons. But I could have sat.